What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and with the Solstice of Heroes now being live, a major part of the gameplay grind for the endgame chase for this event is collecting orbs for armor upgrade objectives. Today I bring you this amazing farm spot which truly helps out, better than any other spot I've found in the game so far and hopefully an explanation on how these orbs work as many people seem to be a little confused. But before we get into that people, every month I give away a fully customizable controller, a new giveaway every single month. To be in with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And more details on the giveaway will come at the end of the video. Okay, so firstly let's try and explain how these orbs work and how you can collect the ones you need. So basically they work alongside your subclass and weapon loadouts. So if you use a Graviton Lance, you have a chance for Void Orbs to drop as it's a Void Weapon. If you use the Graviton Lance alongside a solar subclass, it seems as though you have a chance for both void and solar orbs to drop. Works the same with power ammo also. A arc power weapon will have a chance of spawning arc orbs as well as the orbs matching your selected subclass, if that's a void or solar subclass. Your kinetic weapon drops orbs based on your subclass, arc for arc, solar for solar and void for void. If you want to maximize your chances of getting one said type of orb to drop, use only one burn throughout your entire subclass and weapon loadout. Something I have no Notice vehicles, even if they shoot solar rockets, they seem to drop all types of orbs, as you will see in the gameplay in a second. Weird, but it's the way it works. What I also found to be the case when running a full void subclass as well as weapons, that my friend who was running a full arc subclass was spawning arc orbs for me. So to be honest, it is kind of confusing, but I'm sure there's a system somewhere behind it which will make sense. All I know is using your kinetic weapons drops orbs matching your subclass, and your energy and power weapons drop orbs which match your subclass as well as the burn types those weapons have. Okay now as we know to upgrade many pieces of the armor you have to farm these orbs. Now it's important to note some orbs require certain activities like strikes or on a certain planet but for the ones that don't this spot works wonders people. Now finding a great spot which allows you to rinse and repeat is damn hard but don't worry that's what I have for you today and it's nothing other than the payback redux mission selectable first on your right when you spawn into the tower. Best thing you can do here is load it up solo and get going. Remember set your subclass with the specific orbs you want. So once you spawn in simply go ahead and jump in that tank and cause hell. Now you can run the whole mission or you could just get so far and kill yourself and start again from the very beginning getting a fresh new tank because all the ads spawn back in. It's really that simple guys. Best thing about rolling the tank is well you don't have to jump out to collect the orbs you just simply drive over them that's if they're not in some tight corner then you will have to jump out now this mission is full of ads and i mean absolutely full of them and because you are in a tank you can take out groups of them with a single basic shot so it makes farming way more efficient and so many orbs do spawn it's crazy now there are obviously other spots in the game like the leviathan raid the beginning part the first room where constant enemies spawn i haven't tried that yet but i'm guessing that'd be pretty good but you won't have a tank to use in there that's why i'm thinking this mission may be the best so far and another thing about this is even if you do complete it you can simply reload it as it won't be gone until the solstice event ends which is something like august 30th or something like that so yes plenty of time to get going and if layer armor pieces require more orb farming people you know where to come also guys if your armor piece requires orbs generated of a specific type on the edz well the orbs collected here count so remember that people it really helps out but yeah guys this payback mission is a great farming spot for orbs for your gear really simple and really quick and i hope it helps you out on that note guys we have come to the end of the video but before we do let me tell you about my giveaway i do every single month so every month i give away a fully customizable controller for either xbox or playstation sent anywhere in the world to be in with a chance of winning it simply drop a like on the video leave a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and check out the gleam link linked at the top of the video description fast simple and legit it's a brand new giveaway every single month so if you entered it last month, you will need to re-enter this month, which is the coming month of August. But yeah, good luck to everybody who enters. And on that note, I am out guys. Thanks as always for stopping by. I hope the video helps you out and hopefully I will see you on that next one.